Hi, before iOS 17 and Xcode 15, you could animate between only two states. In Xcode 15 and iOS 17, you can build complex and multi-step animations with SwiftUI using Face Animator and Keyframe Animator. So rather than animating between only two states, we can define multiple states using Face Animator or Keyframe Animator. In this video, we will create this animated highlighted effect using Face Animator. The face animation in today's tutorial will not involve more than two steps. It is just to show you how to use the new face animator in SwiftUI in building animations. Let's begin by creating the highlighted effect without using face animator. We could define a state here called is highlighted and set the initial state to false. And when this view appears, we set the final state of the animation. We can do this using the on appear modifier. Next, we define the property we want to animate. So let's add the opacity modifier and use the state we defined along with ternary conditional operation to create the animation. So let's copy the state and add the opacity modifier here. Using ternary operation, we can set the true state of the opacity to 1.0 and the false state to 0 0.5. To see the animation, we add the animation modifier and set the timing curve. We would like to use an is in out equation with a duration of 1.0. We get a warning here because we need to pass a second parameter, which is value. The value monitors the state we defined here between the initial and the final state. So this should be the same as the state we defined here. Finally, we want to repeat this animation forever. To see the effect clearly, we can also add the foreground style modifier and change the foreground from red to primary. So this is how we could create the highlighted effect without using face animator. Let's embed the content in a VStack and make a copy so that we could use it to create the same animation using the face animator. Let's apply the face animation view to the second content. As I said before, we can use face animator to build complex and multi-step animations in SwiftUI. So rather than animating between two states, like what we have done here, we can define more than two steps that happen in sequence. For this animation, we will use only two steps true and false. In future videos, we will be creating face animation that involves more than two steps so that you understand how it works in detail. We can add face animation in two ways. We can use a face animation view or use the face animator modifier. Let's go with the face animator modifier. After the corner radius modifier here, I will add face animator. In the parentheses, we define the number of steps we want this animation to have. If you have more than two steps, you can use an enum to store each step. For this, we are going to use an array. The array will be having only two steps, false and true. The true state will be when the content is highlighted and the false state is when it disappears. Next, we add a closure for the content. Then we specify the content we want to animate. With our content in hand, we can apply the modifiers we want to animate. Let's add the opacity. Then we use the face variable we defined here along with ternary operation to animate the opacity in the same way we did over here. So we can put face, then we bring a question mark and set the true value to 1.0 and the false value to 0 0.5. You have noticed we have the second content also highlighting. Let's add the foreground style modifier as well. We can copy the one we added here and 
place it over here. Then we change the state to face. In our previous example, we have a custom timing curve, which is ease in out with a duration of 1.0. When you use face animator to create an animation, by default, you get a spring animation. So we can override or customize this animation using the animation closure. Let's add it over here. Inside the animation closure, we should define the custom timing curve we want to use for this animation. Since we have already created one, let's copy that. Face animator repeats the animation forever, so we don't need the repeat forever modifier in this case. So we can copy only is in out with the duration and paste it here. And that creates the same highlighted effect using the face animator. In our upcoming videos, we will focus how to build complex and multi-step animations using face animator and keyframe animations. Thanks for watching this video.